My name is Mike Wiles. I'm one of the sector supervisors that works here on the bridge here in the uh, SOC, which stands for Strategic Operations Center. Um, my main job here in the SOC is to be responsible for the operation as far as the performance uh, on time departures, uh, delays, uh, cancellations, they all come through the individual hubs that the different sector supervisors work in. Programs that we have here, uh, we have the Deltamatic program that keeps up with times here. On this side, you'll see that here in the red. This, the two screens here in the green are the World Flight System. That's what the uh, dispatch user interface Dewey is used to uh, calculate releases with. And we have the Flight Track program here that uh, we keep up with all the different flights. Uh, this other uh, taxi view is by uh, Aerobond taxi view system. It allows us to view the aircraft where they are in live time here uh, at Memphis International Airport in this case. This morning I'm working an AM shift and so that shift reported at 4 AM and it's a 10 hour shift and it goes till two in the afternoon when I'll pass down uh, this desk to one of the PM uh, sector supervisors coming in to relieve me. I'll give him a brief briefing about any issues, potential issues that may be going on with any particular crew delay problems, flights that aren't running on time, um, maintenance issues, things that could impact the operation that could further include weather uh, or anything that would potentially cause a flight to cancel. And that person will work uh, from 2 p.m. at night until the last plane lands, whenever Pinnacle has a flight in the air, um, there is a sector supervisor here on duty. There have been many, there have been many a times that um, you know, there's someone. The night shift is here until the AM shift gets here on a bad night. That does occur. We try not to allow it to occur, but it does occur from time to time. Jacqueline, a dispatcher here at Pinnacle in the SOC. I've been here for about eight years and welcome to a day in the life of a dispatcher. Uh, the dispatcher, technically from the regulations, is jointly responsible for the safety of flight with the pilot in command. Uh, so we do a lot of support work. We generate the paperwork that's waiting for the crews at the gate, uh, which in is inclusive of the weather package, uh, fuel burns, and the flight plan itself. Normally, in a 10-hour shift, we have about 50 flights. That doesn't sound that bad because you would think it would be five flights an hour that we're handling, but in reality, because of the way the marketing schedule works out, we have sometimes 12 flights in one hour to generate flight plans for. The next hour we may have three, and the hour after that we may have five. But what will happen is when we're generating those next flight plans, the original bank of 12 start to push. Now we have overfuels, underfuels, gate returns, air returns, um, you name it, we get it all probably in about a 15 minute span. So if we don't reply to a crew right away, that's because we're just being inundated with requests simultaneously. Everybody in here has kind of forged a, uh, a real family type uh, connection. So during those periods of high intensity, uh, it can become quite stressful and we all try to help each other out as far as situational awareness. One particularly stressful situation that happened to me once upon a time, and this was a few years ago, but a very defining moment for me. The weather was very bad across the country. We had uh, low visibility and the um, and other issues going on in Minneapolis with their traffic control flow. They had construction going on, so they were down to one runway. At the same time, we had Hurricane Ivan dissipating over the Carolinas. And I had one plane that did not require um, an additional airport attached to the flight release for that flight because the weather was so good, and that was Minneapolis to Austin, Texas. In any case, they're holding over Minneapolis. I'm trying to sort that out while I have a high minimums captain going into Norfolk, and I'm trying to pick him through the bands of, you know, the dissipating hurricane. And then, out of nowhere, I get an ACARS message that says declaring an emergency diverting to San Antonio. The one airplane that I wasn't even concerned about that entire day had the absolute emergency because a military aircraft had done a wheels up landing on the one runway that wasn't under construction, shutting down the airport. At this point, they were pretty much out of fuel and they had to go somewhere, so they diverted to San Antonio. But it, that all happened within a five minute time span that all of this is occurring and it's blessed. <laughs> it really is. It's a good, I really enjoy my job. I don't have to go to work, I get to go to work.